I am so alone. Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft showcase, a mod showcase video. I'm Mainzy, I'm here alone today because uh, Amelia's not here. Uh, so I'm going to be doing the mod showcase. I'm going to be doing the mod showcase on my own, uh, and we'll be getting on with some things uh, in this mod uh, showcase that we won't be able to if Amelia was here. So uh, let's roll. Wait a minute, what am I on about? Let's get on with things. So okay, guys, let's get on with things now. I. I'm in a little village in a flat world at the moment, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my game mode. There we go. And we're going to have a look at what we've got here. So the mod we're going to be uh, having a look at is Applied Energistics. So we're going to be needing this and this. And, oh, we're going to have either this. Uh, we're probably going to need this. And, well, let's have a look. We may... Oh, yes, well, I don't think it'll be a, a case of we may need this next thing. We will need it. We'll need one of them. And we're going to need one of... Nope. Some of these. There we go. So basically, this uh, is a computer CPU. So let me just turn on my animated graphics. Uh, let's turn them all on for now. So basically, what happens is, is we place this down. There we go. Uh, we're going to put a creative energy cell next to it. Now what happens is, oh, look at that, it's psychedelic. It's psychedelic. Yeah, thanks, village. I just walk in front of my camera. So it's nice and psychedelic. And it's lovely. Lovely. Yeah. Well, enough of that, anyway. So, basically, uh, the crafting recipe for this. Let's have a look at what the crafting recipe is. Right, okay. So, uh, where was we? Oh, yes. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so the crafting recipe for this... What is the crafting recipe? I can't seem to get it up. I don't know why. For some strange reason, it won't give me the crafting recipe. That's not good. How do I craft you? Okay, well, anyway, I'll just show you the mod anyway. So this I've got a hold of is a ME drive. Now, what an ME drive does is you can put uh, drives, ME drives, inside there. Oh. And let's get an ME drive. Just as a small example, this is an ME drive. It's a 64K. And that goes in there. And as you can see, it's got a little dot there, which is supposed to light up. But it won't just yet because it's not powered. So if I link that there, that should, there we go. It turns on. Oh. So now, if I put that on top of there, this, we need to be able to wait to see into the hard drive. So the way to do that is we put a crafting screen on and as you look see it looks like a crafting table but when you click on it it's a terminal and then we can put things in like I don't know all these things and it tells you exactly how many you've got of each thing and they stack that's even the best thing about it they stack things that don't stack will stack in there which is like you know you only get like 16 eggs or something like that, you can actually put more than 16 eggs in the stack, which is quite cool. You're gonna mine that for me, mister? Yeah? You're gonna mine that for me? 
Fantastic. What have you got here? Ten gravel for an emerald. Oh, ten gravel and an emerald. Get your four flint. You, sir. You, sir, are a rip-off. Okay, so that's not the only part of the mo- Oh, look, he's walked off in- Don't look back in anger. Yeah. Anyway, so the best part about this mod is, is the fact that you can, to craft all this and to make all this, you're going to need some plates. Now, these plates, let me just show you one. Uh, where are we? There we go. We've got a inscriber calculation press, an inscriber engineering press, and we've got a inscriber logic press. We've also got an inscriber silicon press, and these circuits will make these things here, and then in turn we'll make these things. But in order to find them, you can't just literally just craft them. You've got to find them. And the only way to find them is this lovely thing. It's called a meteor compass. Now you see it's spinning right now. If we go off in any direction. La 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 Okay, so here we are back at the village and uh we're back at the computer. Now one other thing about this is we have a couple of things uh, which are part of, uh, well, it's a good part of the mod, to be honest. Uh, we have a quartz grindstone. And uh, what this is, let me just put that in there. There we go. Uh, so what you do with this is uh, let's get ourselves some uh, iron and if we put an iron in here now under normal vanilla rules you put this in a furnace and you get one block of iron you do this come on okay and there you get two iron dust and then what you do is you, let's put a furnace down with some coal, use some charcoal. We put the furnace down there, put the charcoal in, put the iron dust in. And then what happens is we've grinded it down and it will produce not one, but two iron ingots. So, using a grindstone, you double your iron ingots. There you go. So you're getting twice the amount, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, so, what else? Uh, one thing this does, one benefit of this system is the fact that it actually cuts down on space. So instead of having like chests upon chests, no way. Do I see you? I think I see. Uh, am I? Am I kidding myself? No. Where are you going? Excuse me. Are you Triorus? Are you? Are you Doctor Triorus? Do you do you like my experiments? Are they, are they are they good? Do you like them? Okay, so anyway, yeah. Uh, whoa, you're looking at me really funny. <laughs> so yeah, this is a charging station. And what this does is you place what we call a uh, quartz crystal in. Sorry, Cetus quartz in. <laughs> quartz crystal. Now we put Cetus quartz in here. Uh, normal Cetus quartz. And then what happens is, we put that in there. See if it works. Oh no. Um, oh, hang on a second.
Okay, so we put the surface quartz in. And a couple of seconds later, you notice the texture actually changed. And we take it out. There we go. You'll see that this, if we just drop it on the floor, there you go. You can see from the animation, it's actually charged. Now, charged surface quartz can be used for a couple of things. We're not going to cover them in this episode, but we will cover them in the next one. So I'm going to put this in the computer. I'm going to put the charger in the computer. Put iron in the computer, the meteorite, the, this, that, this, this, and this. As you can see, it's taking up it. Listen, are you going to be my assistants, boys? This is... Wait. Are you the two assistants from Skylabs? Are you my... Did you survive? <laughs> oh, we're messing. So as you can see, it says that there are 12 item types inside the uh, the energy cell. So it does have a limit of what you can store. However, once you've reached 63 types, it will carry on storing until it reaches that 65,536 bytes used. And you can put stacks upon stacks upon stacks upon stacks of stuff in here. I mean, there's, there's no, there's, there is a limit, but there's hardly a limit because it's amazing. You just pack everything in. So I'd say this is a good time to probably stop. Uh, I'm just showing you the basics in this episode, but I have got a couple more episodes where we're going to show you some good setups and hopefully have some craft, craft some recipes for everything for you. So let's end it right there. I have been Mainzy, this has been another Minecraft Mod Showcase, and this has been the Applied Energistics Mod 1.7.10, and I will see you next time guys, goodbye!